What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back on Lan or Luna Freya, however you want to call this character. Uh, but it's time. I broke down. We're buying it. We're buying it. We're going in here. We're buying the event pack, the Lan event pack. I'm going to get another crow, which I don't actually need. I might actually use it, but I don't actually need it. But we're going to get it. I guess I could sell the crow. Could sell the crow. I don't know how much it goes for, but could in fact sell it. So yeah, let's go ahead and buy. It. So we can put that on our character. So we got a better weapon here. We got the as well crescent pendulum that I need to put on as well. Um, I don't think there was anything here. We do have this gold bar still. So let's see here. We can increase our weight limit by a hundred. That's important. So we're gonna pop that. That makes it 548. We're going to increase our inventory slots, so pop that, increases that nicely. Need those, kind of, and then we get these. We don't need these yet because there's a boost going on. Uh, don't want to pop the crow. We want to pop the orchid fall stuff. Let's actually get a frontal or front view so we can see it change. Can I see my weapon change? That's the question. All right, so put that on. Oh, actually, that's not what I wanted. Put this on. Equip that. Can't see it yet. We'll take a look at it. Put on the shoes. All right. Put on the noble sword. Changes it just a little bit. Orchid fall gloves. Ooh, I like those. Orchid fall headpiece. Actually looks nice. I can leave that visible. And the chest piece, or the, the main dress part of it. Really like this. Probably one of the fa my favorite outfits in the game. So happy to get that. Um, we cool. We'll see about selling the crow. We have to go back. Or we'll... We don't have to go back. But we're gonna go... We're gonna go from here. And we're gonna head down towards High Dell soon enough. So we'll try to sell it down there. I'll try to make these quests a little bit quicker. Oh dear, you scared me. I thought my heart was going to leap out of my chest. What are you doing here? Ah. Where did you get that eerie looking flower? Is that the flower Emma keeps talking about? The cave that uh, that um, Emma spoke of is over there. Go down the cliff located to the east of Crone Castle. So, pretty used to these quests by now. <laughs> Doing them on all these characters over again. So, should be able to do them relatively quickly. Uh, I'd love to get to High Dell in this episode with a chance to sell that. See if we can sell the crow. I don't even know if I can sell it. If I can't, I'll just use it, because that's fine. I don't, I don't care that much. Um, it's not that big of a deal if I have a duplicate pet. Um, it makes this not exactly worth it. I mean, I get a duplicate pet, woo, but um, it's really only worth it if I can sell the pet, which I don't. I know you can sell pets, but I don't know if I can sell this pet on the on the open market. All right, Emma. Let's complete. Let's complete your quest. I was waiting for you, Oracle Luna Freya. Ah, the flower is trembling. It must be reacting to something. It's somewhere nearby. When I was a kid, my grandfather used to talk about this cave. Please take the lead, if you don't mind. I'll be right behind you. I want to get to the bottom of this nightmare. All right. So into the cave we go. I don't know why it wants you to use one of the fireflies here. It doesn't make any sense to me because it's really not dark in this cave whatsoever. Complete that. Talk to Emma. She would show up. Hello, Emma. There she is. The ghost. A child. The ghost is looking for a child. Look, Ornico Luna Freya. The ghost is reacting to the wildflower. The cause of Crone Castle's ruin is still unknown to me. My grandfather seems to know something, but he never shares anything with me because he thinks I'm too young. There should, however, be some records about those events in the castle ruins. Beetle has been spying on the occupying forces, and he's convinced that the commander of Crone Castle has the records of on his person. Please infiltrate their encampment and get those records. I'll be waiting at the entrance to Crone Castle. Alright, and away we go. I feel like we could do this relatively quickly. Um, so we can go and check on the, check on, what am I trying to say? So we can go and check on the, uh, the, uh, the selling of the crow. Let's see her jump up here. So I decided on the Dark Knight. I don't know if you guys all have seen the episode yet or not. I don't think you will. 
um, where I talk about... I think I'm going to record one more episode before I talk about it. So you, I don't think you'll have seen it yet. You'll see it later today. Um, but I'm going to be doing a little bit more farming on that account. Um, getting it a little bit higher level. Not over leveled, but it, well, it'll be a little over leveled. Because um, I'll, do, I'll do stuff on it and then I'll record when I can. Um, but I want to play on it still. Um... So I'm gonna. It's gonna be a little bit different. This character is literally all gonna be recorded. It's gonna be similar to the Witch. The Dark Knight's gonna be similar to how I did the, uh, how I did the uh, Sorceress, but not exactly. Right now I'm I'm deep farming Sorceress, um, having a lot of fun uh, farming. Um, I, I'm big PvP or PVE, not PvP. Um, in games like this, um, I'll probably, once I complete all of these characters and get them to level 56, start trying to PvP maybe a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, most of my videos will be PvE content focused on PvE. Uh, I, I don't know how much PvP I'll be getting into because more of just a PvE player. All right, I'm a... Ah, yes, the, those explosions caused by the Forbidden Alchemy. If there was anyone who would know, it's the person next to me. My grandfather's friend, Alustin, has twin daughters. People prefer Clorence more as she's very calm and smart, but I'm personally a lot closer to Eileen. She always worries about me because of my nightmares. She even risked her life to come all the way out here with me for support. I think it would be all right to show the records to Eileen. Whatever secrets they contain, I value her opinion. Can you show the records to her? All right, Eileen. Oh, hello. I followed you here because I was worried about Emma. Hee hee hee. I'm glad to know that Emma is doing fine. Ah, it's the Lost Records of Crone. Wow, it's my first time seeing such a thing. Well, of course, I've seen books about it in my father's study. Give it to me. I might figure something out if I look at it closely. Hmm. Oh, I can't believe it. Even my father might have never seen this. This record has obviously spent a great deal of... Why did it skip to the top? Great deal of time locked away in some dusty archives. And you say the Crone Castle Commander was holding on to this? My goodness, what was he planning to do with it? It wasn't always like this. The Crone Kingdom and all of its people burned to ashes due to the greed of a few individuals who began to practice forbidden alchemy. They were here one second and gone the next, and no one ever sought to ease their pain. This is why they have appeared before Emma, who is herself of the Crone bloodline. They will desperately cry they are desperately crying out for help and we must answer them. Just reading this record sends a chill down my spine. The mistakes of the past will people ever learn? Phew, give me a moment to call myself. Right. We need to find a way to ease the suffering of Crone Castle's tragic victims. Their spirits are clearly full of spite, which might explain them as nightmares. I do know of one ritual that should confront those lost spirits, or comfort those lost spirits. Let me have a quick look in my bag. I'll add some of this, a pinch of that, just adjust the ratio, and voila. Please recite the ritual in this scroll at the highest point of Crone Castle. It should calm the vengeful souls you wish to know, or uh, you wish to know how to get to the top. Don't worry, Beetle will take you there. No, Beetle. I, I don't want you to take me there. I'll I'll get there on my own, Beetle. I can I can handle it. I can handle. It. Got a new helmet. We got gloves. Got a ring. Equip that. Is this just the same helmet? I think it's just the same helmet. And we got a scroll, a crone remembrance, and the smooth silk tea. Put that down there. All right. Away we go. I said we'll do certain um we'll do certain stuff on this character but um or do certain spendings but not not everything all right we are back um as you can see it's a different day uh that we're recording the remainder of this video different t-shirt on but let's hop back into the lawn playthrough here gotta talk to beetle I got interrupted last uh, last night, and so I actually never got back to my Xbox to finish the recording. So we got a little bit of this episode left. We'll probably be able to complete this whole section here before we before we call it a day. All right, we've arrived at Crone Castle Art Altar. You found a strange device in the shape of an orb. The power resonating within the orb seems to be linked to the top of the spire. All 
All right. I'm excited to get back to fighting on this character. I did a little bit more farming on my main sorceress and a little bit of uh, um, a little bit of advancement on my Dark Knight, and I I just miss this character. I think I still like my sorceress more, but this character is like my guilty pleasure. Alright, pop the scroll of remembrance. What is happening to my sleeve? What is happening to my sleeve? What? Alright, complete this. It feels as if the angry spirits have finally found peace. You can sense the spite of the spirits dissipate as they find peace and comfort. The spirits send their warm regards for your help. However, there are still pockets of darkness you sense from the vengeful spirits of Old Crone. Now the really weird teleport back. I don't, I don't remember. I don't think we did this teleport initially, which I think is why it was so confusing before. It makes sense that they teleport you. It just seems so weird that there's like a two second loading screen right there. All right, Beetle. Oh, where have you been? I thought I was stuck in this castle alone. Guess I shouldn't have hoped that I'd get out of this place in one piece. We should find a way out of this instant. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Hurry up and get in, lead the way, or else I'll have to find my own way out. He he he, there was an explosion long ago at Crone Castle. Does this dark energy really look like the vengeance of those spirits? Now, take a look at these shiny stones. Don't they feel similar to the dark energy found in Crone Castle? He he he. Don't worry, this stone is something that will help us. Can't you feel the awesome power that powers that are hidden within it? You can use them whenever you want. He he he. That is wherever you feel like you need to become stronger. The grudge... Uh, okay, we don't need to read the bottom part. Alright, so we got some blackstone weapons. So just for my sanity and how I'm going to do this, just I'm just saying this in advance... I, uh, I am not going to... Oh, hold on. I need to kill this dude and then the backup. How strong are you? Oh my gosh, that dude... OP. Okay, let's go back. No, okay. I almost, I almost actually did the Nimbus stride. Ooh, almost just flew myself off the edge. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah. This is the weird spot where there's, like, a quest here. But where is the quest? There we go. Finding a way out. Really? Really, bro? Get out of here. All right. So, we got a better helmet first. I forgot about this. We get a better helmet. So, we have 1714. Pop this back open. Take the gift. And finding a way out. Don't forget, you can use the stone to get stronger. You'll find that they'll help you bring out the best in your weapons. Hee hee hee, we should leave the castle now, eh? now that we're done here. That idiot over there won't move until you get going. Alright, so I need to kill six enemies. I want to kill these guys, because I don't have any knowledge on them yet. So there's one. Ah, there we go. Another operations chief. Oh crap, I did the wrong attack. Boom. Alright. We leveled up, so we got Moon Dance 2 now that I could take a look at. We'll take a look at those in a second. Man, I don't I need to bring a higher level character here and just farm these for like 10 minutes so I can get the knowledge. Because I have zero knowledge about any of them. I do have the scouts. I do have enough knowledge on the scouts. Alright, Beetle. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, no, don't Nimbus stride off the edge. That would just be so tragic. All right, Beetle. Are you tired already? You need to keep your head straight. This is only the beginning. Phew, 
We still have a long way to go. There will be even more soldiers up ahead. Keep your head straight. The biggest hurdle is the one holding the sword. He's like a bull. Go up front. I'll follow you from behind. Beetle, you're such a coward. I can't... Bruh, I'm stuck. There we go. There we go. It's an oh, hello, everybody. What? What? How is that missing? What? That was weird. I think that... I know it's not a great... It's not really a combo, but... If you swing this a couple times, and then you kick, you can knock him down. The regular B kick doesn't knock him down. So you have to kind of put it in a combo, because like this... Oh, well, it does actually knock him down. Huh. Sometimes I was getting like that weird sideways kick. Like, that, that B. Like the second part of the B. I don't know, but if I can kick him down easily with just B, I guess I can't be going in. I can't be, like, doing this. Because that's going to do that kick. Instead of the knockdown kick. Yeah, like, right there, it didn't do the knockdown kick. I don't know if you have to, like, if they have a, like, hidden stamina bar you have to break. That would be fine. Like, if you had to break a stamina bar. But I don't actually know if that's true. I need just one rookie soldier. All I'm finding are senior soldiers. Oh, hello. I need one ro Okay, hold on. There's rookies over here. But they're all up on the wall. Oh my gosh. I just need one rookie. Game. Game. Give me give me one rookie. Here we go. Ah, uh, that dude's calling the rookie. Here we go. All right, so escape from Crone Castle is complete. I kill these guys real quick. Get myself a little bit more combat in. There we go. All right, sixteen and a half is our current level. I need to keep an eye on. So there's these event ones for reaching certain levels with every character. I got, I'm trying to get to level 55 with every one of these new characters. Because that's 10 million silver times 4, so 40 million. Plus whatever else you get along the way here. Like here's 3 million, 2 million. Um, plus these. These are worth obviously a lot. And this stuff is worth obviously a lot. So that's what we're trying to do. We also get this enchanted help kit, which is really nice. That's a lot of money. So that's why I'm trying to... We need to get here. I need to get here. Um, the level 55 for all my characters. Striker is probably going to be the one that's going to be close. Alright, Beetle. Phew, amazing. Just amazing. You never fail to impress me. Emma heard that we were safe and sound and returned to town to wait for us. We should go back. You've done what no one else could. Hold your head up high. This is something to be proud of. The return. That name makes that sound so much cooler than it actually is. I still don't quite know how to get Nimbus Stride to work every time. Ah. <laughs> I thought it, it's it's L A, but I could never get it to go. It's not on a cooldown right now, so I don't know. I don't know. I did sell the crow in between episodes. I sold it for eight mil, so I have a healthy bank account now on on this game. I have a healthy I have a healthy amount of money, which is nice. All right, Emma. You've arrived safely. Good. Very good. I can't possibly thank you enough. My grandfather wishes to meet with you, and thank you personally. As a descendant of the Bartali family, I must return to the farm, but I do hope we can see each other again. All right, Igor. 
I could tell from your eyes that you were not like other adventurers, but I never dreamed you would do so much for our family. On behalf of the Bartali family, I would like to sincerely thank you for everything you've done. I know it is not much, but please accept this as a small token of gratitude. My horse, my greatest companion, gave birth in recent years. The newborn is grown and in great health. I would like you to have it. I will assist you in your, or it will assist you in your further endeavors. Let's take the gray horse. A loyal companion. What's the rush? You're welcome to stay as long as you want. I see. Did you decide where to go next? If you're looking for a bigger town, you should go to Heidel. The captain of Serendia, also Lord Damengat, resides in Heidel. Ah, I suggest you stop by the stable before you set out on your journey. I'll personally request the stable keeper to provide you with whatever you need. Thanks, Igor. You're a real champ. Alright, to the stables. Lorenzo Murray. Hey, look who's here. The hero of Elia who defeated the goblins. I'm honored to have you in my stable. Follow the road leading to the Heidel Gateway and then travel south. There you will meet a friend of mine called Kirkley. He's a good lad, but he'll help you with the rest of your journey. But be sure to feed your horse a carrot or two. Otherwise, it'll collapse from exhaustion. Ha ha ha, you wouldn't want that. Alright, so that I think is going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we'll head on south towards Kirkley. But uh, we'll take, I'll, I'll head there in between episodes. Save us a little bit of random, just me running. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the split episode, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.